So here I've connected uh, directly, you can ignore all the wiring here, I've directly connected this ignition coil side. Uh, the rest is all lighting, uh, lighting and charging. Um, and then the ground to the actual case here. I'm starting to get rained on, so I gotta pack up, but um, as you can see here, we're at uh, one point, we'll call it 1.2 Henry, 1.3 Henry, somewhere in there. Um, for this coil. If uh, I'm just going to hook it up to here. Uh, I don't think I can reach the red one. Let me, excuse me, the camera work here. We'll try to put this back. It'll stay. Come on, camera. Um, we'll just hook this up to the case. And hook this guy up to the red. And we've got absolutely nothing. So, pretty sure we've got a dead ignition coil or maybe just a, a broken wire in there somewhere. So, I'm going to have to pull off this guy and uh, test it out. Doing some other testing, I kind of found that my lighting coil kind of matched what was going on here. So, maybe I had some kind of other problem when I swapped this out. So, it's always nice to have kind of some tools that can help you confirm things you might be thinking. So this is a circuit test DLM 260. Um, I think it was like 75 bucks or something like that. Probably a little more than I should have spent, but uh, it was there and I was there and had the cash. So there you go. Now I have to pull this apart, find out either what's wrong with that coil or maybe throw an A35 one in there, an A35 flywheel makes everything a little bit lighter. And uh, makes it feel a little bit smoother too, from what I've found anyway. I don't have this extra weight of the starter coil on there. We never had any starters or anything like that. Um, so yeah, there you go. Toys.